Dr. Plenty, I would like to talk to you about, you know, driving, night driving and stuff like that. And, um, um, you know, as, I, I think, um, because it, it, it's, it is kind of slightly happening to me, but there may be other reasons because I know I have it, I have heard about it from young people when I had kind of, kind of no clue that I go, what? And that is, you know, you drive at night and, um, and, and all of a sudden you're not so sure, you, you just don't so, sh- especially you come up to a, a crossing with two or three options to go and, you hesitate where to go because you really don't know where to go. It, uh, you know, it, it's almost like maybe drunk people, you know, lights become a little bit, uh, you see two of them when there's one, you see, you know, you, you're not quite sure where they point. Um, and, uh, and, and things reflect when it rains, so definitely when it rains, that's, that's a bad one. And as I said, I, I know people who have been young having, having had that problem, worse than I have it now, but I have to admit, I start getting it, uh, cause my wife notices it. She says, well, when I met you, honey, 25 some years ago, uh, I mean, you were just, you know, zooming and, and, uh, you know, you're slowing down there now, you're taking time. <laughs> and apparently she doesn't yet, but whatever. Um, the point is, <laughs> Um, uh, tell us of like what are this what are those, those the symptoms of? Am I am I waiting now for cataracts to happening? Is it already in the process? Is it is it is it is it glaucoma? Is it macular degeneration? Is it just getting old? Tell us. Could be all of those things. Oh my god! But oh a, my god. A, a, a lot of what uh, problems that patients have with driving at night is uh, something called what, what we call dark adaptation. Uh, to give you an example of what dark adaptation means is if you're in a lighted room and you go into a dark room before you can turn the lights on, you really can't see the objects, you can't see what's going on. Uh, and then the longer that you stay in the dark room, you're able to go ahead and start to see some shapes, start to see some forms, and kind of get your nighttime vision back. Well, one of the things that we lose as we get older, and it, older could be 20 uh, as far as dark adaptation is concerned, is uh, uh, the ability to go from a lighted room to a dark room. Uh, when you're driving, the, one of the worst things that you can do is be in the bright sunshine and then go into a tunnel where it's completely dark except for that little light. If you have good uh, adaptation where you can kind of make that transition relatively quick, you're pretty – you're able to pick up things a lot quicker. But if you have a problem to where it takes you a long time to clear up your vision in a dark room, uh, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. So when you're driving at night, if you have a dark adaptation problem and you're driving in a dark rural area to where there's not street lights or traffic lights and oncoming traffic flashes its bright lights in you and then you don't adapt to the dark as quick as you once did, you're a danger on the road to not only yourself, to your car, and to anybody else that's driving in your car. And that happens as we get older uh, as a natural consequence of the aging process. What it has to do is with the ability of your pupil to change size quickly. When you flash lights in your eyes, your pupil goes really, really small, really, really quick. When you take the light away, how fast your pupil dilates to get back to where it lets more light in will determine whether you can dark adapt quickly or, quickly or non-quickly at that particular point. So it's a big problem as you get older with that uh, adaptation from light to dark and dark to light. Same sort of principle happens. Uh, but that's probably the leading cause. I mean, you can have uh, cataracts that can create some issues for you at that point. You can have macular. You got to eliminate all those other options. And if you've taken care of that, you have no correction, no cataracts, no other medical issues. But you have problems driving driving at night. That dark adaptation thing could be a really big problem for some patients to the point to where they don't feel comfortable driving at night and probably shouldn't drive at night. Any solutions? Let's assume it's the, we, we know what the solutions are, uh, for, uh, cataract, for, um, macular degeneration, glaucoma, and, uh, we have, uh, uh, uh other videos on that, uh, where you speak on that. Let's assume it's that old age, it's, it's catching up, it, this is what's happening. Any solutions? 
Uh, honestly and truly, no. I mean, there's a couple of coatings, anti-reflective coatings that you can put on the lens that will help minimize it, but won't help it out 100% at that particular point. So you can make it better, but you can't eliminate that issue if that is truly your problem at that particular point. I see. I see. Now, what about, tell me, so let's assume what is happening is probably happening since, you know, we, we all kind of know that to a certain degree, um, if you live long enough, almost every illness will eventually hit you, right, uh, to a degree. So, you know, your eyes are going to degenerate a little bit. So you get a little bit of that, um, the shutter not opening fast enough um, uh, in order to let the light in. Good. Got that. However, could it also be a combination that, well, you're not quite seeing so well in the distance anymore, and even though during the day sure. you don't notice it, you know, the dimmer switch effect, I guess that, that's really uh, up here, you know, you just don't notice it, but you don't see so, but during the day, it, you know, you don't notice it, you know, that street sign uh, uh, X far away, it's fine, you come up, however, that at night it magnifies, um, so that... You know, if that happens, what we just talked about, the, at night you're not adapting, could it be that, okay, improve your vision by a, wearing the right lenses and the right, and or the right glasses will help, sure. will not help out the shutter speed of your eyes, but because the other stuff is, is, is you, you're still like better off then. No, a absolutely. I mean, if you, if you have a problem with that, Wearing some type of tinted lens allows light to come through and allows your pupil to stay open. That's the advantage to wearing sunglasses or Polaroid lenses. And the reason that you can see clearly through them in the bright sunlight is it allows your pupil to stay open because the sun shades will go ahead and reduce the amount of illumination to the eye. So some type of tinted lens could also help out with keeping the pupil dilated enough to where it doesn't create those kind of issues at that point. Uh, I mean, it's it's a terrible situation to be in, but there are a number of people out there that have night blindness, and there's a number of people out there that just can't tolerate the sun uh, the sunshine, uh, and it's very painful for them if they don't wear sunglasses. So, I mean, you deal with whatever issue that you got. Uh, you try to be as safe as you can. If you know driving at night and you've got night blindness, I wouldn't drive at night. Uh, there's really not a whole lot you can do to enhance that or make it better or cure it for that matter. It's just something that you're going to have to deal with and uh, do the appropriate thing at that point. Right, Dr. Plenty, but my very long-winded question um, um, was a little bit like, could it be possible that you are just generally starting to see wars and it magnifies at night? So go ahead, get your vision fixed. Sure. It, it, your normal sure. vision, your glasses fixed and adjusted for the right uh, 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 prescription glasses, and your night vision will also slightly improve simply because your overall vision improves. Oh, sure. Okay. Absolutely. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sort of talking about if all of those other things are taken care of, your correction is actually 100%, you're corrected to 2020 or better, uh, you have no cataract, you have no other issues, uh, there are still people that have perfect vision during daylight hours and they can see 2015 or 2010, but when they drive at night, it's night blindness. They just can't deal with it at that particular point. Uh, those are the people that I was kind of referring to that, okay. you know, if, if you put the coatings on the lenses or if you put... Uh, 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 a tinted lens that will keep the pupil dilated so that when you go from light to dark you don't have to uh, the pupil doesn't have to react as much it will be a better situation for you but you're not going to eliminate the problem at that point but certainly take care of all those other issues as far as the correction goes and the vision goes uh, get the best quality vision that you got and that will help uh, driving at night and those sort of things to, to eliminate problems right Basically, get the basic in as good as you can, so then that that one Absolutely. problem doesn't get magnified even more. Well, Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I really believe it's very, very good advice, um, uh, very down to earth, and uh, and 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 very uh, you know made understandable. Um, I hope people uh, who see this or any other video watch uh, most of your videos and all of your videos uh, because um, it. Uh, it could make life a lot more beautiful uh, for many, 
less painful down the road and maybe even avoid a, a, big, a big accident or something like that. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Have to blame these things a lot. Very welcome. Thank you.